My question that I want to answer today is which vacation rental or short-term rental company should I host my property on? My husband and I are in the process of building a unique rental. You can see the playlist above. We are still building it, but it's a grain bin house and our goal is to rent it out as a rental for people to come in for two, three days or for a week. We have a lot of neat things in our area. Um, the Amish are here. We've got a really neat campground that invites people to come in for the day. They have a lake and race car, um, little go-karts and things like that. So we have found our research for that. We feel like this is a good location. People can come to the country, very quiet on our property. You can hear the birds and everything in the morning. So we're, we're confident that that part will be good. So what inspired us to do that? I don't want to come across as an expert in this field because we're not. We're just now going into it, but we do have experience with long-term rentals. We, we've had several properties for the last six years. We are actually down to do just two rentals that we do long-term. So my question is, which company do we go to? I decided to do, share my research and my journey on this with you as well. And of course, the first two names that came to mind were VRBO and Airbnb. And I've even asked other people who are doing that right now as a business and I'll be honest a lot of them have told me they like Airbnb better but from my research first of all I want to talk about what's the difference between the two Airbnb is a company that as a homeowner you can post your property on there and they do have different categories just like VRBO does the biggest difference between the two is VRBO only caters to homeowners so if you're looking for a home that somebody owns and you want something maybe what i would think um, that has a lot of more tlc associated i don't know that but that name just makes me think that then you want to go with vrbo and only homeowners can list so as a person looking for a rental if you want to stay somewhere just one night you're flying in from the airport and you just want something fast, then you're probably not going to look on VRBO. VRBOs typically want you to stay at least two nights. Some of them say three. And again, they're looking to give you that vacation feel where you can stay there and enjoy the area and do some activities. Airbnb does have those, but they also include the, you can stay in somebody's house and rent their room for the night, or you can, somebody might make a rental out of their garage. And they are typically looking for people coming in they'll let them stay one night and be done so if you're near an airport or near a real busy area that has concerts and things you might want to be on airbnb so it's more a preference between the two as far as rates and things like that there are cleaning fees there are service fees all added in and from what i'm reading vrbo has a five percent fee for you to just host all of your properties on there so every night that somebody stays you're going to get hit with a five percent fee plus a three percent fee for doing the collecting the money and doing that part of it so there's i'm i'm just going to ever in my mind i just thought okay there's basically a 10 percent fee with vrbo now one of the things i liked about vrbo they have a yearly fee of $499 from what I've researched where all your fees are covered. You just pay $500 a year and you're done. So if you're to the point where you're paying out $500 or more, then you want to take advantage of that. Being new, we will not take advantage of that right away. We're going to start out with the monthly fee. VRBO only has a 3% fee so that the fees are lower. Now you might say, well, why don't you go with them? Again, I like the, we fit more in the category with VRBO. However, if there's also, because Airbnb is so huge, you're gonna have a lot of competition for your property. Now we're hoping our competition won't be as strong just because we're going into the unique field. You'll find out, we'll tell you as we go on the journey. Now, there is another company that I found. It's called HomeAway.com. And I thought, okay, this sounds like a VRBO type of thing because um, it does homes. But it was interesting, I found, that actually the same company that owns VRBO purchased HomeAway. And you might say, well, that's weird. Why would they do that? That's what I did. I thought, well, why would they purchase something that's the same as them and still have two companies? Well, VRBO, most caters to Canada, Mexico, and the United States, and HomeAway 
mostly is catering to people in Europe, India, and Australia. So not that your post won't end up being worldwide. For instance, I live in Southern Ohio. When I post my short-term rental, people in Europe will see it. But obviously they're so far away, the chances of them renting it are the same. So they've noticed that Europe, a lot of people post, um, end up renting from home away. And then the other one is more in the United States. So that was interesting. It was in 2020 that the two companies merged. So if you see some old posts about the differences, anything before 2020, they were two separate companies. So that was interesting. So that is the research that I've done so far. Now, you might say, well, what about all those other companies? There are a slew of companies. There is vacationrentals.com. You can find um, TripAdvisory owns a company called Flip Key. You can post on booking.com, One Fine Stay, Nine Flats, whim do and those are just a few there are lots and lots of different places that you can host your rental on i'll answer one more question should i post on more than one company would that make sense we have been looking into that now i did find a video from a couple that has been renting they just started i think in 2022 i'm going to put their link below or and you can go ahead and watch it because one of the things they said they were doing different things in 2023 you always actually want to learn from people who have been doing it so i highly recommend that you go off and read and watch videos from other people that have been doing it i was attracted to that because i started thinking would it make more sense to post on more than one platform to rent my um, vacation rental out i came to the conclusion no because you're going to have to sit there and watch all the calendars you don't want double booking from different people so you're going to have to watch the calendars and that's more of your time where you're spending trying to figure all that out i am looking for something in my life as i go into retirement i don't want to call this passive income because any income you're going to have to do something you're going to have to track it if, at the very least even if you put your rental with a property management company and you're like i just give me the money i don't want anything to do with it you can get to that point but you still have to pay attention to your taxes and all those things yes you can just throw it off to a tax accountant but you still want to be able to i do anyway i want to know what's happening i want my hands in it and i want to watch you know i want to make sure it's getting cleaned when the cleaner comes i want to make sure people are happy and i want to read those reviews and i want that relationship so for me I'm thinking I only want to start out with one company and that's it. Now, when I watched this video, they were talking about expanding and going into marketing and all these other things. So watch the video and get some more information. But personally, I'm leaning to starting out with one and see how that goes and watch my journey and you'll see where we end up. But for now, VRBO is our choice. That's who we're going to start with. And I'm going to start digging in a little bit more on, on how do you apply? How do you, um, what kinds of things that you need to do to even get on that site? So that'll be a future video. As I do my research, I will share that with you.